And yet, Jackie recalled her disappointment with the lack of her professional opinion. And as a native signer from the school board, meeting when selecting a potential hearing staff to assist deaf students in school. I wasn't happy, I wasn't satisfied with this person communicating. They didn't have very good signing skills. And the other communicators weren't happy either. And they said that they hadn't known, but it was the boss that had decided that. They should ask first, um, so that I'm able to decide whether that person has adequate signing skills. It is interesting to see what David says about management of sign language. Oh, they're trying to make it available in the classroom. They're right to make it available in the classroom. Yeah. As a subject. But I think that's good, but it's gotta be it's gotta be managed by the deaf. Not the education people. And not the school. Not the school. But the school has been having the power that's over it. deaf people. That's it. Jackie recalls another disappointment that hearing people decided to start a business in teaching sign language. So, for example, I teach people sign language and then they go and set up their own business. That's not really fair. They should ask me first. They should ask me first if they sh can do that because first and foremost it should be a deaf person a deaf tutor teaching sign language. It would be better to have a deaf tutor. From deaf, not very, not very happy. Having people set up their own sign language class. Yeah, that's it. And patient student from a deaf teacher to a hearing teacher. Yeah, that's it. You know? But that's because that's happening because uh, sort of there's no leadership, there's no authority on sign language. So you've got. Uh,